God damn it. Give me a light. Listen, I got this idea. I want to run it by you, see what you think. Okay, shoot. Well, as you know, I couldn't get laid right now if you put a gun to my head. Right. Because broads can tell when you're desperate. That's true. I mean, the thing is, if you're getting pussy, you can always get more pussy. But if you're not getting pussy... You can't get pussy. Correct. Very good. So I had this idea. Come to me the other day when I was meditating. I'll see what you think. Okay. What is it? You ready? Yes, Roscoe, I'm ready. What? Okay, two words. Present pussy. Come again? Prison pussy. Yeah, prison pussy. I heard what you said. I, I just don't get what you're saying. Well, chick's in prison, man. In your minimum security facilities, they get congenital rights. Conjugal. I, I think it's conjugal. Whatever, man. Just stay with me. All right. See, what I'm thinking is that this would be the perfect way to get laid. You got no headaches, no cash outlay. You don't bullshit them. You don't buy them dinner. You just go into a room for like an hour and fuck, see? It's a perfect date. Now, the thing is, I don't want to end up with no hardened criminal bitch. I mean, a cute little forger or some uh, chip they picked up on income tax evasion or something. Now, I know... But there is a chip prison around here somewhere, Long Beach, I think. Now stay with me now. All right, I'm with you. There's got to be some kind of book or something somewhere that has a picture and her stats and stuff in it, right? Uh -huh. So you peruse the mugshots. You find some chick that ain't a dyke or ain't got a husband or no boyfriend or nothing. You crank out a few letters, and then bam, you end like Flynn. I mean, uh, okay, so you, you write four or five different ones to cover your ass, but then if you get more than one response, you just stagger the visit, see? What do you think? I don't know, Roscoe. It's, it's pretty far out there, man. I think it might work, man. I'm a desperate man. Yeah, I get that. 